Hey guys, so I'm finally done my exams now, and I'm happy to say that I can continue doing Reptiliatus channel. So, right now I'm going to do a quick um, update video on my greenhouse plants and the plants I have in my living room as well. Uh, for those of you who've been eager to see the mango tree, it's doing great. It's developed quite a root system. I've repotted it into a huge pot that's like. I can't even show it right now. It's like that big vertically. It's really big. Like the plant itself hasn't grown so much, but it, the fact that it's a tree has an extensive root system. So yeah, that's what we're going to show you. I'm going to show you this weed anyway. I'm going to show you guys that. Um, I picked up some Venus fly traps at a Home Depot to play with during the winter because, you know, if one of your most of your carnivorous plants are uh, seasonal and the dormancy they're in, they're gonna be kind of bored. So I have some little fly traps to play with for the rest of the winter and I'll probably let them skip this year or this dormancy and next year they'll go dormant. So yeah, other than that, um, I think I'm gonna do a re-update video on uh, Emperor Scorpion care sheet. Maybe not the actual care sheet, but I had a YouTube user who decided to post a relatively, I don't know, kind of nasty comment and so I'm going to be redoing that video to show that I do care and that I do kind of appreciate that he felt that I wasn't doing something right. So I want to correct it to show myself I care. So yeah, I don't want to be giving false information. So yeah, that's going to be coming up within the next few days as well. So yeah guys, um, I hope you enjoy what's coming up right now and just know that I'm back on with the channel and keeping up to date from now on. So yeah, if you were waiting to hear back from me about certain things, it should happen soon. Okay, thanks, let's get on with it. Okay, so my greenhouse plants are doing excellent right now. Um, over on this side, I have a lot of my more, uh, a lot of species that uh, I've dressed with a cal or sorry a sphagnum moss topping or dressing. On this side are a lot of my tropical nepenthes, a couple of fly traps over here. You can see there's a pitcher inflating on the sphagnum moss over here. Another this is a Rafflesiana seed grown plant from Keen's Carnivores. It also has a pitcher inflating right here. Which is really cool. This is all sphagnum moss. Over here is a Pinguicula morinensis, the Mexican butterwort. Cephalotus follicularis. It's doing excellent. I was worried about it yearning or stretching a bit for the light, so I've actually added quite a few lamps up here. Um, you can see them here. There's a few lights on the top. There's a fluorescent bulb right here, and another one in the hood there that you can't really tell. It's there. So yeah, it's they're doing great. Over here we have a the Capensis albas are coming out of their cool down I gave them, even though it wasn't necessary. It's been proved beneficial to the plants. Back here, some red sphagnum. Drosera spatulata is. Oh, I'll show you them in a sec here, actually. Dosera spatulatas, there's two plants back here. They're doing great. They have a nice settled in uh, topping of sphagnum too. Over here is a Nepenthes miranda. Back here we have a uh, Nepenthes hybrid. I can't remember the name off the top of my head now, I just figured it out what it was. I think it was an alada crossed with something. And in the back here, this plant is a Nepenthes ventricosa. Behind it, here, with the very large broad leaves and no traps yet, is a Nepenthes sanguinea. Back here, we have a papaya tree, or papaya plant, which is really cool. Um, oh yeah, so I had a couple of the pitcher plants, my Sarsinia purpurea's uh, species locality Venosa, 
Uh, they were on my deck before, and I had left them there, and the snow melted all over them and refroze to ice. And this was about two weeks ago. Uh, yeah, about two weeks ago. I was really worried about them, so I decided to actually pull them out of dormancy. Yes, it's like two months too early, but whatever. Um, it's more, I guess you could say it's an experiment. But anyway, this one suffered the most. This is one of the large plants. It does have new growth coming, but I'm still, I was still quite worried about it. So it is coming back though. I'm going to give them a top dressing of sphagnum as well. These, this plant is doing great, as you can see, it has new pictures coming on this side and right there as well. And then the largest plant that's doing the best right now, this one here, still has a few mature pictures and new growth coming. I'm assuming this one might be throwing up a flower stalk in any time soon, or no time at all, so we'll see if that happens or not. But yeah, that's the greenhouse, guys. And everything in there is doing great right now. Uh, yeah, let's move on to the living room. Thanks.